I'm here with Craig Eggers, who is senior manager at Dolby, and we're you're going to Bonjour again. Hi again. <laughs> We're going to, we, the big hype here is 1080p, okay? We're talking about high-definition image, mm. but we've also got high-definition sound. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give our readers and our viewers a little bit of insight in the background about the two, the two formats, well, WHD yeah. and W. Great. We at Dolby kind of believe that if you're looking at a high-definition picture, you're only getting half the experience, obviously, yeah. uh, because part of the high-definition experience is the 5.1 and now the 7.1 surround sound. We have two technologies that we developed for next generation high definition entertainment. The first is Dolby Digital Plus, and Dolby Digital Plus works off of our core Dolby Digital format, but it basically has two very large applications. Uh, one application is we've developed new efficiencies in the codec that enables Dolby Digital Plus to be utilized by pro broadcasters who are looking for very efficient ways to deliver 5.1 surround sound into the home environment. The other side is we have the ability to run very, very high data rates with Dolby Digital Plus, bringing us less compression, better than DVD quality sound, and 7.1 entertainment. So you'll see Dolby Digital Plus integrated on next generation optical discs when they want to have multiple language formats, when there's a lot of picture information there and they don't want to compromise picture quality or all the extras on the disc. Our other technology is Dolby True HD, which we're very proud of. Dolby True HD is what we call a 100% lossless audio technology. This means that what you're going to hear in the house is what you would have heard if you attended the concert, if you were on the audio mixing stage. We say it's 100% bit for bit identical to studio masters, which means you're going to get the same experience that the people making the production, the people who were creating the audio, did in your home environment on playback. And that's incredible because now you can recreate that experience time and time again with playback and playback and playback. Okay. While we're talking about 7.1, are we going to, is there another step down the road we're going to go to at some point? And, you know, the, 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 the for formats them? have the flexibility to go beyond 7.1, but I think it's going to take some time to get the consumer used to 7.1 and get uh, uh, creative people used to, to developing 7.1 content. So in the immediate future, I think we'll, be, we'll still be in a 5.1 world, and you'll see some experimentation with 7.1, and then we'll get really mature with it and probably have some really great stuff in the future. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing that with you soon. Greg, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Thank you.